Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to another Diecast Emporium review. So, I get constantly asked to do more unboxing, so I had a little bit more time today. Let's go ahead and do an unboxing and a review of the same vehicle at the same time. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing open. This arrived today, and uh, it didn't take that long to get here, so that's always a good thing. Oh boy. There is a peanut party going on in here. Holy cow. All right, well, let's see if I can get rid of some of these. Actually, you know what? We're going to take a break, and when I get back, I may or may not be still alive uh, after dealing with peanuts. So just stay tuned. Any news from the peanut gallery? Anybody? Any? Sorry, too easy. We'll be right back. All right, so we're back. This is going to be a review of the Volvo Skid Steer Loader. Now, before I get into that, I want to tell you guys about something, especially if you're new to the hobby or a new collector. Many of these websites that sell die-cast scale models will have uh, a section on their website called Scratch and Dent or Salvage Yard or something to that extent. So if you're looking for maybe some models that uh, you wouldn't otherwise be able to afford... Um, or, if you just need some extra parts for a model that you currently have, it would behoove you to go ahead and look through those websites, because this model actually came from a um, scratch and dent section. And the only thing that was wrong with it was that the box had a little deformity right here. So, and there's even collectors out here that throw out the box, so... Anyway, so here's the Volvo. Just separate the two plastic formers, take it out, we'll take a look at some of its functions. Obviously it rolls around quite well. I already know a lot about this model. The lift height is not the best, as you can see here. And these freaking screw heads would have looked a lot better painted. Obviously this will not even come close to loading a 1-50 to scale dump truck. However, if you have one of the new sword um, F-250s. You shouldn't have any problem whatsoever loading one of those. One highlight is that I like the bolt detail on the on the tires. Also, the graphics turned out well. For this being such a small model, there, I'm trying to zoom it in right now so you guys can focus on, on that. It says MC155C. On the back, you have the Volvo name and just some more um, nicely added details. But here's what I really like about this. This was one of the first skid steer loaders in the market to feature an opening door. So if you had one of your Diecast Masters Bob figures, if you haven't burned all of them already, of course, perhaps you can finagle away to get him to sit in there. So overall, this skid steer loader certainly isn't the best. But, again, if you're a fan of Volvo equipment, or you just want something for your layout that's relatively inexpensive, um, then I would recommend this. But since this, since this model actually is priced higher than the newer Diecast Masters Caterpillar models, I have to say I would probably recommend them over this. But, if you're a Volvo fan, and you like to stick with Volvos, then this is the skid steer for you. This is also made by, if I didn't mention it, Motor Art, and it says Collector's Edition right here. So, nice little model, great deal, and again, the point of this video, I cannot emphasize this enough, subscribe to some of the diecast websites out there, periodically check out their scratch and dent or their salvage yards. Um, you might just be surprised as to what you find. Um, and many of them, even moreover, will offer incentives to actually buy them at a discount price again. So, I know one website in particular sometimes likes to go to, you know, they have on their Scratch and Dent website, they'll have 25% off all Scratch and Dent items that are already discounted anyway. So, anyway, I won't go on much longer. Decent model. Check out the Scratch and Dent sections. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. Stay tuned, be safe, and we'll see you in the next one.